check out our finished project here. We took a piece of driftwood and we turned it into functional art. This is an amazing project. We took this old piece of driftwood, we filled all the cracks and crevices with our blue stone coat countertop epoxy metallic mix and look at the results. We had a blast doing this. It's very simple to do. Stay tuned, check this out. We're gonna give you all the tips and tricks right now. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Mike here with StoneCoatCountertops.com. We got a great project for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take this old piece of driftwood. This came from the Oregon coast. It went down our local rivers, it tumbled around in the surf, and the results are amazing. I see gold right here. This is gonna be so cool. This is a piece of driftwood that we've already done the process we're about to show you on. Look at the results. You can take this nasty piece of wood and turn it into functional art. We're gonna show you how right now. Let's get started. Okay guys, the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten the bottom of this because right now, if you set it on our table, you see that it's wobbly. We're gonna flatten it so that it will be nice and sturdy because we're gonna use this as a centerpiece and a showpiece in our showroom. So let's go ahead and use our 50 grit metal sanding disc and we're gonna flatten that so it doesn't rock anymore. Let's get started. we've created some flat spots on the bottom of our driftwood so that it doesn't rock when we set it down it's time to grind off the branches where they're pokey we're gonna make them nice and smooth and rounded so that as we rub our hand over this piece it's not sharp and it will accept the epoxy very well okay we're gonna accentuate the cracks and crevices in our driftwood by using our quick coat mixed with our thickener so that it doesn't all just ooze out of the piece it's gonna thicken it up and stay put we're gonna add our ocean blue metallic to that mixture and it's gonna make these cracks and crevices pop and make this piece come to life here we go Okay, we're gonna add a one-to-one -one ratio with our quick coat. We're gonna also add the same amount of thickener as you use as epoxy. So if we're using four ounces of epoxy, we're gonna use four ounces of thickener. Then we're gonna add our ocean blue metallic or whatever color metallic you'd like to accentuate your cracks and crevices with. Mix for about two minutes and then work quickly. You have about 15 minutes of working time and here we're turning this piece of driftwood into a smurf log. Now we're gonna use our hands and just push it in all those cracks and crevices. Don't worry if you get it all over the place, that's okay. Have fun with it and just push it in all those cracks and crevices. After about three hours, when the quick coat is dry, take the 50 grit metal sanding disc and we're gonna sand off all the excess blue tinted epoxy. What this does is it really leaves everything in those cracks and crevices, but we're getting back to raw wood with our piece of driftwood. After the 50 grit metal sanding disc, we're gonna to switch to our random orbital sander, start at 60 grit and work your way up to 220 grit. Remove all those rough sanding marks and get it to feel nice and smooth. Then you're ready for the next step. So we got all those marks out, check that out. That quick coat acts phenomenal by using that as a fill and adding that metallic to give this thing a real accentuation of all these cracks and crevices and the detail of this drift log. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the seal coats. Those seal coats really bring this thing to life. We're just going to mix up about four ounces and we're going to just put it on by hand and watch this thing start to come to life. The key with a three-dimensional object is thin coats and multiple coats and just keep doing thin seal coats and that's the key. Let's get started right now quick tip here I'm just using those paint pyramids they're on our product page under our Amazon tool links these are a great little resource we use these under all of our sample boards our countertops and also three-dimensional objects where I sanded those flat spots in so that it will hold and support everything so it's not gluing itself to the surface so this time we're still gonna use our quick coat and we're gonna mix it for two minutes with the drill. Same process, we're just not gonna add any thickener and we're not gonna add any metallic additive. We're simply gonna use the clear. It'll look a little white at first cause you're entraining some air, but as you rub it and then torch it out, it'll come crystal clear and smooth as glass. Check this out. Mm -hmm. 
look at how it looks after that first seal coat. Wow. Okay guys, we are done with our first seal coat. We used our quick coat and it dried in about three hours and we're already ready for our second seal coat. Now because this is a smaller project, it's actually just fine to use our quick coat because I got enough working time. You only got about 15 minutes of working time, so you better move. But if you're doing a large, uh, big wood slab and you're doing your seal coats on that, use our normal stone coat countertop epoxy. You'll have pr plenty of working time to get all that air out. But on this 3D object, the reason I like to use our quick coat is because underneath you don't get a lot of drips. The reason you don't get a lot of drips is because it's drying. You don't have a lot of working time. So I could sit here and work that material with my gloves and really just use that as a tool to get everything to lay out smooth. Now I do have some bumps and nibs and nubs. I have some voids. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use our burn-in stick. I got just a little bit of this burn-in stick left so I'll use a pair of pliers and a torch and I'm going to heat this up and drip it into any of these little cracks and crevices and then I'm going to use my razor blade. I'll reheat what I just filled, scrape off that excess and then I'm going to sand everything and do my second seal coat and a lot of these little pits and stuff will get filled in with a contrasting color. It'll be a earth tone now so it'll look natural but this blue is looking incredible. It looks like it's electric and it's lit up. Let's get started. When using our burn-in stick simply Heat it up with the torch, rub a little bit in those cracks and crevices, and then simply walk away. Come back in a few minutes and you can heat that back up and use a straight edge razor blade to wipe the excess off just like that. This is a great tip to get rid of any of those voids that might be stubborn and hard to fill with epoxy. Sand and get ready for your next coat just by roughing it up with 220 grit. Wipe the dust and you're all set to mix your second coat of Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. Again, we're using Quick Coat because we want it to dry fast and we don't have a large surface area. Mix it for about two minutes with the drill, pour it out and rub it in. Rub it all over that entire piece and it's going to come out amazing. You can find all of our products that we're using in this video at StoneCoatCountertops.com. I don't know if you can see what I can see here, but this thing is awesome. We've gotten two seal coats on this. We're going to sand with 220 grit, do our third seal coat, and we'll be all wrapped up. Let's go. Okay, it's time to repeat that same process. We'll sand with 220 grit. We'll wipe the excess dust with our blue shop rag, and we're ready for our final coat. Let's do this. Remember, it doesn't take a lot of torching, just a little bit to pop all those bubbles and it's going to lay out super smooth. Look how that lays out. Rub all the drips off of the bottom if there is any and you're going to get a great result. Okay, we got our final coat on this piece of driftwood and it has come out amazing. I love how it lays out. It is so sleek. We spent a lot of time sanding to get all those curves and corners to look just the way we wanted it. You actually just use the form and the free flow of that organic wood and it leads you to this end result. We had a great time. You know, my family and I, we went out to the Oregon coast. We found this and now we brought it home and we encapsulated that memory and we turned this thing from a piece of driftwood to our dining table showpiece. This was a blast to do and the ocean blue that we put in this, it actually looks like it's glowing. This is a great look. Hey, feel free to give us a comment below. What do you think would look good in the same technique? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, give us a like. If you found value in this content, please give us a thumbs up and remember, we're putting out new content every week. If you want to get in on that, subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified every time we put a new video out. Until next time, 
from Stone Coat Countertops. You got this. We'll talk soon. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again.